Barry Hawkins has been a producer at a bunch of major studios. He's worked at Blizzard. He's worked at Riot. He actually worked at a few other ma- very, very major names. Would you like to go ahead and run us through some of those? Sure. I'm, I am one of those odd birds in game development who has lived in both the game development world and other sectors of entertainment. I, I guess the ones people recognize the most are uh, Netflix and Hulu. Uh, as far as uh, streaming uh, TV, um, but then also in the mainstream and less storied world of traditional software product development in the mobile and web, usually distributed application and service spaces. That's a big variety. So at all of these places, what is it that you do? Sure. Uh, I do what some studios would call production which is, uh, you know, managing the work systems of the game development teams for both the uh, engineering uh, design and, and art. Um, and in the other settings, it's doing a similar job of managing the work of n number of teams and bringing everything together such that the schedule, goals, all the things line up when they need to so that we can make the things and get the monies. Awesome. So it's very much a leadership position. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And I think a lot of people coming into this podcast, especially having listened to game designers and artists before this, might kind of be taken aback at that Absolutely. at first. Um, but uh, the simple truth is that when you're making a fun game, uh, the quality of what you can deliver is defined by both the budget and uh, the time budget you have for the product, right? And so uh, working with producers, especially very effective producers, is incredibly important for making sure you can develop the game to the best of your abilities, right? Um, now, um, now, I know you've done a lot of higher level organizational stuff. Are there any particular features or things you've been close to or part of that you'd like to talk about a little bit to kind of like connect people to how the work you do is connected to the work a game designer or an artist does? Absolutely. Um, so the... In terms of features and things that I've worked on, on uh, League of Legends uh, from Riot Games, uh, and and I guess I can talk about some of the things that didn't see the light of day. But um, the uh, the replay system uh, was one thing. Uh, Most of what happened with the player behavior initiative from 2012 to 14, starting with commendations and the rework and international launch of the tribunal, all the way into Team Builder, I think is what we ended up calling it after much debate yeah. and rigmarole. Um, uh, the uh, Howling Froyord, uh, some other major content and game mode releases for, for League. And then at Blizzard Entertainment, I worked on World of Warcraft, which is one of my favorite games of all time. And there I worked on the... I came in right in the midst of... Uh, full-on production for the Warlords of Draenor expansion. Don't hate me for Garrisons. Um, And uh, in fact, uh, you should have seen what Garrisons was going to be before production got involved. (laughs) But um, so uh, that and then into uh, the uh, pre-production for for Legion. But along the way there, um, taking on the, uh, at the time, somewhat stalled out um, WoW token project for those who are familiar when that entered that particular game world. So those are most of the um, features where I could concretely tie like me actually doing individual contributor or team level work uh, and not just being a leader of something like at, you know, say like Hulu where it was, uh, you know, an 800 person product org where I had 30 reports in my org alone and, you know, and all the other people. So, yeah. 